We've got some breaking news. The police have identified the person who opened fire at Joel Osteen's megachurch in Houston yesterday. William Lajeunesse is on this for us. William, what exactly are we learning? So we just got a hold of the search warrant and can confirm that the shooter is identified as a 36-year-old Genesee Yvonne Moreno. She had been born a man, Jeffrey Escalante, from El Salvador and has a lengthy criminal record. This just happens to be the world that we live in, but more to the point, it's the world that God says that we're going to live in. It's the world where he says that they are going to hate you. Why? Because of who you are. Remember what he says. He says that the world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify of it that its deeds are evil. And so because they hate him, they're going to hate those who follow him. That's us. And so let's make no mistake about it. As our prayers grow out, and it's just it's just heartbreaking to know that this little boy, still not sure of the identity of this boy that she brought with him. I don't know if what her what his relationship is to her. And they're saying it doesn't look like he's going to make it. And that that's the part that's it's just it, it's bothersome. It really is. Uh, this innocent child who doesn't know being used as a pawn, this this crazy person, this man goes in who is uh, who has a, has a uh, criminal history multiple times. What have you? This person also has a, a gun. So I would presume that the gun was not purchased legally. I'm not sure. Don't know. Won't speak on that. And obviously, they're not going to speak much about uh, this issue as far as this person being a trans, this person, their ideology towards or against the church. The person had uh, free Palestine on, this man had free Palestine on the rifle. I don't know how much other news, newscasts, news agencies are going to talk about that uh, or mention or how highlight how much this person may have had an anger or disposition towards churches. Uh, the irony is that he goes towards a church that most of us, many of us don't think that really is functioning as a true church, pretty light on sin, but this person clearly is, a t is targeting a church, but it's to be expected. Now, according to the search warrant from Montgomery County, she pointed an AR-15 at the officers, off-duty officers who were in the church at the time, and she they fired upon her, killed her, and was considered in self-defense. We're also hearing from local reports that the five-year-old who was with this woman um, is likely not to make it. Um, this The five-year-old boy has been in critical condition, and according to the Houston Chronicle, it doesn't appear that that individual is going to make it. A 57-year-old man was also shot in this altercation at Lakewood Church um, there in Houston, uh, which, of course, is uh, operated by celebrity pastor uh, Joel Osteen. Remember, the Bible says this. Also, he says in Luke 6.22, he says, Blessed are you when men hate you, and ostracize you and insult you and scorn your name as evil for the sake of the Son of Man. And so that's going to happen. We are going to be attacked, vilified, and scorned, and even uh, sometimes in some cases killed, shot at, what have you, threatened because of the name. And he says, blessed are we now. Obviously, in the moment that it's happening, we're not going to feel that blessed. But ultimately, there is a reward for those who have to suffer for the cause of Christ. But let's be clear. This is going to happen more and more and more. We've got this person here who was born a man. I believe he is from, originally from Venezuela. I'm not sure how we got here. More and more details are going to come out and more and more details are going to come out about this person's background. You could pretty much guarantee yourself that the truth of it, though it'll come out, won't be pushed in the public. In other words, mainstream media is not going to probably tell you the truth behind it. Why? Because it's the one thing that the God of this world, Satan, doesn't want people to know, that there is an intense hatred towards Christianity. Now, had this been someone going and shooting up a mosque or even even a Jewish synagogue or anything like that, I could promise you that this would be front page news. There would be all this discussion about uh, anti-Semitic attacks or anti-Palestinian attacks or what have you. But if it goes against the church, eh, well, no harm, no foul, because after all, we all hate the church because we all hate Jesus, as he says. It's going to happen more and more and more, which is why we as Christians ought to be vigilant, ought to be proud about who we are, not back down. That's why we should never, ever give an inch, an ounce, or anything towards the world. We should be proud of who we serve. And remember, ultimately, even though the God of this world is Satan, but who owns the entirety of the world, the uh, the Lord does. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, and they dwell in it. And so all of this um, belongs to him. Now, granted, it's going to hell. But long as we remember who ultimately is in charge. And so 
even though the information won't come out in the mainstream media the way we think it should and an alarm should be sounded about how churches more and more because quiet is kept more and more churches in America are being targeted and being attacked. You don't hear much about it. If it was mosque, if it were a synagogue or any other religious institution, you would hear more about it. But because it's churches, you're not going to hear very much about it because, again, we are the enemy. We're the cause of all the problems. We are the anti uh, this, the anti that. We are the homophobic, transphobic, all these different phobics. No, what we really are is the only thing that we are. We have a fear of. We have we are hell phobic. We have a fear of going to hell. And we certainly are God folk, meaning that we, we fear the Lord in a healthy way because the Bible says, don't fear him that can kill you, but fear him who can kill you. Then after that, send the body to hell. So what we'll do is we'll continue preaching the gospel. We'll be beacons of light in this dark world. And people will still wonder why we, those that go to church on the, for the most part, more than anyone else. And I, that's only you can really measure this. Those that are regular attendees, why we suffer less, why we have better mental standings, why we have greater um, marital standings. The divorce rate amongst those that attend church regularly is lower, that a lot lower than the rent in the world. Suicide rates are lower. All the things that we measure social economically are better for those that attend church regularly. This, again, it's the only way we can measure uh, who truly is a Christian because everyone's a Christian nowadays, right? Uh, I'm a good Christian, even though I, I, I don't believe in Jesus. And so we know how the world is. And I can promise you the truth of this will not be pushed because the God of this world doesn't want it. So in the meantime, we're going to see this happening more and more. Unfortunately, you and we've seen this more and more people have no um, concern, no uh, respect, more, more people become more brazen going into churches and then firing. And so we have to be diligent, but we'll still be prayerful. And we'll still find ourselves in heaven because those of us who love the Lord, this will not deter us. So, guys, be on your knees. Be praying for these churches. We pray that that uh, more and more churches would even adopt some of these security measures to keep people like this out. Uh, we've seen times in the past where certain security guards and so forth have thwarted some of these things. And so uh, and though they had, they had a good security force there, thankfully that no one else was hurt. Uh, one person, one other person was shot in the leg and this person was taken down. I feel so bad. I really do for this for this little boy with this little child. I think it's a boy, five-year-old. That part I hate. Um, but again, God knows what he's doing and he is going to deliver us all, those of us that are in him, out of him. So the prayer is that more and more people will place their faith in Christ. And rather than risking the opportunity, risking the opportunity of not being with him, you get to be with him forever. Amen.